Okay, so the plan, uh, strip down the head, give it to a mechanic, uh, he'll um, change over the cam and all the various bits and pieces, the new head comes with the with the valves, so it'll be changed over the uh, lifters and all the other bits and pieces and the shims and shim it all right and all that kind of stuff. I'll also send off the injectors to get them cleaned and checked and tested for their spray and all that stuff and we'll go from there. So one thing I should have done in hindsight when taking the head off, take all the bolts out first. Um, so definitely take the bolts out, um, actually before that drop the water fully to get the water out, drop the oil, that's probably not as important, and get the bolts out. Now one thing I know I have to do now is when I put the head back on is make sure there's no water whatsoever in the bolt holes because if there's water in there they won't do up properly so I've got to make sure they're all fully cleaned out. Uh, yeah, and the bolts that can't reuse the bolts, so uh, take them out and ditch them pretty much. So I'll take this bracket off that's holding the hose, just put it a bit further under, that's on the head, take this off, couldn't get to it while I was on the car, but um, can now. so I don't get the same head back again on the one of those half my bolts. Don't worry about that a bit later. Alrighty, start stripping off the bits. Okay. 
Let's make it. Oh, yeah, a couple of bolts still in. So I'll go to the glow plugs first. Quite loose. Common rail. That. Yeah. Right. See how easily these do or don't come out. There you go, interesting. They get then cleaned up or replaced, I guess. Let's check when the service book and see when they were last done. So just crack all these to get the fuel line off. Don't want to bend the lines obviously that are attached to them. There you go, just a bit of wiggling to loosen it up. There you go, done. Alright, I'm going to do it the long winded way, which is. Uh, Take the injectors apart and then um, they're getting serviced anyway and checked out. So I take them apart um, and they'll get reassembled properly anyway. So. Inside the injectors, which is the spring and a nipple, pretty much looks like. Yeah, so you can see inside that, but it's oh, the other part. That's dirty. There's your spring, which just sits in, and there's like a little. Uh, Nipple part in there which I can't actually get out. Eighteen, is it? I think so. No, it's like a loose nineteen. Some bloody imperial thing. See the fact it gets stuck on there, it's not the exact size. It's not an 18, it's not a 19, so I'm not sure what's going on. So maybe it's Imperial injectors from the US or something. Okay. So I was just trying out the spanners, the 22. Fits on here really, really loosely. I kind of was a bit nervous about using it, only because I don't want to damage the Sorry, I'm saying 22. The um, 22 socket. You can see it's a bit, a bit rattly. It'd do it, but it'd be pushing it. But just so happened that I'll try one of the a random socket that's in my socket set, which is a spark plug socket, and it is very snug, perfect fit, and that's a. 13 sixteenths, which is odd size, but that's what it is. So. Tight. It'd be easier if I was on the car. I'll 
Keep moving. I know for a fact I've had this one off before, Let's see what it does. Okay. Oh, gee. Tight. Maybe feel like I've achieved something. That's the little nib you can see in there, and it's hard to see probably from what you're looking at. See in the bottom there. It actually comes out that little piece and spring obviously sits over that. And put it together. It's kind of like so. Get these other buggers out yet. So let's put that on as well. It's just a pain. Let's have a look at the cracks. Yep. Okay, well, I think that's all that has to be taken off this one, uh, except for all the nuts and bolts and gaskets, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'll send the head off, get a new head, get this most of this stuff transferred over as part of that. I think the biggest part is getting all the spaces and uh, gaps right for the um, lifters and these cap things that are on top. Um, yeah. All right, next you probably should see me with a new head assembled. Oh, one thing I forgot to grab or take off, that uh, sensor here. That needs to obviously come off and be used in the next head as well. So just undo that. Use a size 17 socket. I'll tap that again, I think, just because of the angle. Should say. Okay, that should be it.